Greetings, 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 free people, greetings. Give thanks and praise, give thanks and praise. When I'm on chant, speak, or even utter, I truly try to qualify whatever statement I present. Yeah. And if it's just to contemplate information, then we just call it philosophical reasoning. So yeah, we really try to make a concerted effort for qualify the information we will share. And I'm on share a document which is the Strawman. I create a video with that specific name, Strawman. I think I'll make it private. Only because we can do that, you know what I mean? Yeah. And when we talk about the strawman, specifically here on this island, I'm on refer to the birth registration form or the certification of vital record, which is a certificate of live birth, basically. And I'm on share what the item said, the registrar is the one who authorized this document. And this document is actually the only thing the Jamaica government and its parliament can interface with. So when the agents are talk to a man such as I who have this knowledge, then I now have a problem of stepping a court and I express all of this thing as best as I can. Only in an effort to bring honorable clarification. But I remember it's self-taught. I'm under no obligation to keep no kind of secret. Nobody never make no kind of arrangement like that with I. And I man choose to live free. Yeah, and I think that way freely. Truly don't subject myself to an outside influence. Yeah, when a mind as near fight, you know, humbling ourselves in an effort to learn. And as such, we find ourselves learn a lot of good. And we find ourselves learn, you know, a lot of bad. Now we are fair, you know. choose to keep the good what we learn and we can dismiss or reject the bad and adjust what attitude as we go along we don't have a problem with that however i won't hesitate at no time especially on my own platform my own jurisdiction to express myself freely so when i see a guy moving like a sodomite i don't have a problem calling a speed a speed yeah you can rebut it if you choose so at no time I have a problem, I express myself, and I won't be restricted at no point and no level by absolutely no one, only the most high, only because we have the inherent right, freedom of expression, freedom of speech, freedom to choose whatever religion. All of these things are documented. How people choose to ignore these laws of the land. All light is there, documented, but you know, 
the body politic that is in place calling itself government or agency I choose to do its own thing. This is why I will make it plain. It's still clear when we say create a separation of entity. This is what I have done. And I've done it on multiple levels and I've done it subtly. You have to create a separation of entity. So the all capital entity is what the corporate construct can interface with. The true and living man, this living soul manifests as man, this Indian. Awak is separate and distinct from the juridic or the legal entity or the straw man or the surety. Separate and distinct from that fictional entity. And I put that in writing in such a way where absolutely no one on earth can rebut it. This is why I show the eye themselves. I have no problem walking this walk. I have no interest in what everybody else I do and all of these fancy things. I have the information where the Jamaica agency structure there, you know, that's a court setting. Really, it's for the Supreme Court here. But that doesn't apply to me. Absolutely no laws or rules or whatever you guys purport applies to this free man. This is the foundation of my claim. It's that I am a man, not a male. I am a man, not a juridic entity nor the surety. I am a man, not a debtor. I am a man. So when the Jamaica government and the Jamaica parliament and its agents choose to violate my inherent dignity as man, then they are, you know, they are out of order. They are outside of law. Because I plainly yeah, express and demonstrate what this juridic entity, this fictional person that they give life to in their fictional world. I express that this instrument registration form is a separate person opposed to you, the true and living man. I show you where when you get your birth registration from the Jamaica instrument. Line one would say birth, birth in the district of Kingston. So that's where the district is. Line two is a parish, Kingston. Line three, number. So this is the district number. In line three are the assessor's parcel's number in line three. Line four, birth, place of birth. And it's a Victoria Jubilee lying in hospital, meaning it's abundant. Line five, give you the date of birth. <clears throat> line six, give you the sex, whether it's a man or a woman, but this document cannot say man. It says male. This is what it has a the subtle deception or I like it. You know, deem it silent deception and inducement by fraud. Yeah, man. God, them I call you male. Them now call you man. I am not a male. I am a man. So the difference? So when I step in the court, I step in the court as man. But them cannot see or deal with the man. 
this is why I tell you, when I'm on speaking court, it doesn't mean nothing at all. Why? Because I always service my court. I always place documents on that court. You understand? And the documents speak volumes. Because they are in a corporate setting. They are in a fictional setting. So I as man, they cannot see. They can only see what I write. And place on the court. And place my cancel stamp on the back page. Making it a, I call it a secured note. Uh, once a document is out there, it becomes an instrument or a negotiable instrument. That's what it is. So them rather call them, well, them, they can only identify you as male. I remember them can't interface with you, the living man. But because it's unknown to you, there is adhesive contract or adhesive agreement or whatever they call it. But they stick this thing on you and say, you, the living man, is no more a living man. But you're a dead entity. So you, as a living man, is operating out there in public as a dead man because when you go to the graveyard, any graveyard, all of the headstones are in all capital letter, meaning a dead entity. That's what it is. So this re registration form represents a dead entity. This is why I say it's all demonic. It's all satanic. Who is the father of all lies? When I say a Satan and a me, and a me, and a me, I come hear them and say, I come see them write it, so it is written. Don't blame me for your shine light on your deceptive conduct, on the fraudulent conduct. All we can do is shine light, bring truth. Truth is light. Let truth reign. Yeah, man. So then, them say line eight, you will find the nurse name. And then the father, usually, most people on the island have no father name. The people them where we have father are usually the next side of the fence. Once them were. You don't call them the uptown then where the, for them great great granddaddy was a part of the either the British side or the or the Spanish side or the you know what I mean? This is why you see so much people are claim to be maroon. I personally know that to claim to be a maroon is to claim to be an escape Spaniards. That's the etymology, that's the origin of what a maroon is. Because the Spanish was the conquering, you know, say, empire at the time. Spain, I should say, specifically. And don't be fooled, Spain and Portuguese in the same location. This is why when they must say Portuguese and Brazil and they brought African from Africa to Brazil, no such thing. Right now you have the great migration going on where you say all kind of Persian. Thai people are migrate to the Americas, anywhere in the Americas. Mainly them are try to get to the mainland, what I'm call US. But I'm quite sure the island are being bombarded with these foreigners. And it's no different. History keep repeating itself only because the people, you know, usually forget. So this instrument, as I said, have you like you're a bastard. Usually the, the, there's no dad's name even though you have, you know, your mother wasn't, that's a, a virgin conception. 
you go down to line 13 where you find mother. Line A, you find the location of where your mother lives. Line B, you find the town. Line C, you find the parish. Number 14, number of child. Number 15, the name of the mother. And number 16, the age of the mother at the child's birth. And number 17, the, the occupation of the mother. Number 18, the birthplace of the mother. And when you go down to the informants, everything is nil. There is no informant. So our document construct different from most other people. Our document is expressive. Once you have this knowledge, you know, fit, you know, do anything else more than you just express it. Uh, the document itself is, is on a bond paper representing a registered security bond. And a bond is always represent debt, is a debt instrument. And we talk about the debtor or the surety. But this is how we express ourselves and we do it in writing where them can't get away from it. And as they keep meticulous records, we do the same. We give notice, we make sure we verify our notifications. Make sure we don't get it. So we don't necessarily, well, I'm not necessarily have to go study for being an attorney and practice. No, it, no, it not apply to me. It doesn't apply. So when foreign people say, you know, your mom is an informant and your mom, you know, do all kind of things that is wrong, I beg to differ. Yeah. Time change, everything are modernized. Nobody wants to stay inside them house and get no midwife anymore. The rural people them do that. Cause them not have access to the you know city amenities, put it that way, like a hospital right downtown there. So everybody now mother just go to the hospital not knowing Seboa is a foreign vessel in dry dock. No different from the ports, foreign vessels in dry docks. You know what I mean? And from the application, boom, you're coming in, your mom go in the hospital. Naturally, they want to document who you are and what you're about. So you're going to get an application form. Now, this application form becomes a birth registration form because they hypothecate it. They turn the basic application form with your upper and lower case name into something else, all capital name. This is what it is. This is our truth. So when them hypothecate this document, this is when, when we say hypothecate, this is when the hospital birth record is sent to the county recorder's office, where the registrar applies the name to this document, because on line seven, it's a name of child, and it's a C line 26. I think in my video, it's a C line six, correction. Line seven, name of child on the birth registration form is non-existent. There is no man there. Line six said male. This is the only instrument. The statutory legislators can legislate. Not the man. Not this man. Who is separate and distinct from this piece of paper that is viewed in commerce as a person. I'm hoping my people are bear with me for I'm going to get paid for this. You won't get it nowhere else. Really? Not freely? So bear with me. 
Now, as I said, our moms were no informant here on this island. Just as I express it, you go in, you need documentation, so you fill out an application, and whatever they do, you don't know until your son come forward and can, you know, cipher what's there and then express it. Yeah, man, just make it so key, man. It's not that time. Just contemplate on what we are, you know, I bring forward. Now, when I go down to line 22, it says registrar's certificate. This is where you'll see entered by me. From the particulars on the certificate received from J. Phillips, a chief resident officer. 23, there is no witness to this transaction. Line 24, you will see the date, which is the date after the life event, when the register, the registrar signed. The document. You know what I mean? And then in line 26, remember line 7 said, name of child. See line 26. Now you're on line 26 where it said, name if added after registration of birth. After registration of birth. After registration of birth. So the birth is registered with no name. Again, listen to what this is said. Name, if added after registration of birth. So the registration of this birth have no child's name, no man's name, no, no, no life. Nothing with life in it. And it's clear on line 7. Name of child, see line 26. Line 26. Name if added after registration of birth. And what is the name? It's in all caps. Linton, O'Neill, Dallas, all caps. With three asterisks behind it. Understand, people? So this is a person. This is the only person. The corporate state or the statutory state or the statutory state agency or the, the statutory legal authority. This is the only instrument I can interface with. This is what issued the 100,000 surety bond. This can issue one million dollars surety bond. This can, this is unlimited here. Uh, this is a United States registered security instrument. This is why we know D. Kelly, if he is the court clerk underwriting the bonds, remember, you know, he also has a birth certificate that we know nothing about. And I already request all these information, which no one gives me no kind of you know, information when I get no reply. We just get a witness statement with one constable when there were three constables on the document. And we have some kind of hearing where all the parties of interest is not present. So you saw the outer ordinance that's going on. This is the charade. However, we have to go through it because if we not go through it, we not have first and knowledge to express it. I keep saying it's silent deception and inducement by fraud. This is why they kidnapped me and stole my property and then issued me an access device by way of a notice of recognizing own personal bond, own surety bond. Didn't come from the state. 
it didn't come from none it didn't come from the constable it didn't come from the administrative examiner who like to call themselves judges it didn't come from none of them it didn't come from the county recorder or the court clerk the county clerk who is in fact the one that is underwriting the bond so because we know it's a United States registered security car, we can prove that. We can show you the information from the Massachusetts Business Trust. I never signed an agreement with nobody. I just discovered these things. This is why I can share it freely. I not expose nobody's secret. If it's false or I'm wrong, then people can rebut this. When I place this them kind of information on the court, let them rebut it. I know them love it. Uh, all of my court people have learned from I. They'll never admit it. They'll never admit it. They don't know much of what is really going on behind the scenes. How can they? They were conditioned just to, you know, follow the process. I call it legal process. Just you know, push the paperwork. This is why I'm always confident no attorney can speak once me have a trial or there is any kind of court where, you know what I mean? I am there. When the attorney has speak and the judge allow the attorney to speak, then me know say, you know, it's a charade. It's just cooning, clowning. God them can impress the common folk when they have knowledge. A man like me, they can never impress me. The only time these people impress me is when they are the right thing. Now that steer me. Now I start, you know, salute them and, you know, give them all kind of honors. Uh, yes, them a man. And when man do what is right, we're supposed to salute and honor and celebrate them. We're not supposed to celebrate these bastards where I do everything that is wrong. This is why we know the earth is out of course. A man of right who is God in flesh are being accused in this time. When the accuser is accusing you, the accuser cannot verify or validate his accusation. Because the accused is always hidden deep somewhere within the court. So you have to give them a witness summons to bring this counselor to the forefront. And you give them a witness summons. Now the counselor can hide behind the so called prosecutor we know as inquisitor. It's always an inquisition. It's a Roman inquisition. That's what it really is, people. And when I'm on chant this way, then we take it, you know, from a level where down to the common man, the base man can say, Yo, what are they must say? Make we listen some more. There should be no excuse. I'm making it clear, sir, what you people out there are subjected to is not law. Yeah, it's only, you know, legal standards. They're called policies. And you find yourself that way because you remove yourself from the divine creator. I remember, you know, God create the heaven and the earth and all living things within it. See? Things then will have soul because man create all kind of living things but it's soulless. And after God create everything he create man and woman and then he give them instructions for them to govern themselves. You never need no government. It's always 
instructions to govern itself. And when them get the instruction which is according to what is written, them would have said, yo, don't eat this or don't do that. But they did it. So they fear and get expelled from the presence of God. Not necessarily in a garden here or there. I just say from the presence, because remember, according to what is written, the most I moved through the place. And before, the people and was just parley and partying with the most I chanting, looking at him or whatever it is. And when them, you know, violate the order, then when the most I moved through and I call them, start hide themselves. This is why I said they were expelled from the presence of the Most High Creator or God. So when them get expelled now, you know, lawlessness pervade the earth or the land. And from that, the Most High said, Hold on. Moses, get us some people to talk to you and them. And from there, according to what is written, this is now, this is law. What am I saying? God said, God said, God speak unto Moses. And as Moses would have said, yeah, only the dead are, but only free to come, so I need to go up there. So he not just speak to me, Moses, he speak to one of And he would have given them some instructions and guidance for people classify as ten commandments. And that was for people to govern themselves upon the land. And even then, people and fall on the earth get away where there was the earthquake, then them of the flood, and then the flood, you know, wipe out a lot of those evil times. However, so called Noah was there, and because of the flood, them coming with this Noah hide law. So the big devil switch before you know the Ten Commandments are deal with the law of the land instruction for people to govern themselves. There was no government, there was no you know what I mean. So when you get instruction, it's for you to govern yourselves. Self-governance. And while you're upon the land, not on the sea. So now what who who was never known as a lawgiver, them ascribed some Noahide law, which is a law of the sea. Yeah. And from that time till now, we still have this commercial law in place. Remove you from the land. However, what is first is always choice. And this is why we said the constitutional law, specifically the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedom, as amended 2011, dictate that no agency should abrogate, abridge, or infringe upon the inherent dignity of the man and woman. However, within all those documents, pay attention to talk about persons within all constitutional legal documents, statutory instruments. Statutory instruments are not in place to govern the man. They cannot govern her. It's in place to govern the male. Not the M-A-N, but the M-A-L-E. Two separate and distinct things. The male is a fictional character. The male is the fictional is a is a legal person, which is a fiction. That's more proper. And it's represented by a legal title. Specifically in all capital letters, representing a registered organization. I people. I'm hoping you are here with me. I'm telling you, sir, the, you know, the synagogue of Satan that is out there. Yeah. A uh, dark force there. 
Yeah. It not just manifests itself yesterday. Check what is written. If when God create man or woman, then there was a serpent to dissuade or beguile the woman and take her away from the instructions that was given. Then it has show you said from the start there was an adversarial entity there. So why we now are gonna be surprised. Yeah, some people said there is no devil. Just like all them said, there is no God. And I said, fools are they. Fools are they. I just chant and know there is one supreme power, and from that supreme power derive all other, including I, and not limited to I. So we have all been deceived by people, literally and figuratively deceived. Yeah by a subtle, cunning, deceptor. This is why we bring our information, because it's not here. Check all these YouTube platforms. No one in Jamaica bringing this specific information, showing you the root what it is, letting you know a statutory instrument created the agency that is governing you people because you're, you're considered persons, federal persons. You're not man and woman. You're dead entity. I people. This is the level. This now has nothing to do with politics. But politics is an agency thing. Agency creation. For its members or its citizens or its subjects. These are being specific this is being specific. Yeah, when them say particular, yeah, man, on a general talk in this, we are telling us uh, you know, I have no authority to talk to I outside of contract, and I place a fee schedule on the county recorder's location, which deemed to be public record. And I get a certified copy, which is fact, that went unrebuttable. So this is what we are saying. Ignorance of the law excuses no one, not even the presumed judge. Excuse it. And when them talk about The immunity where you people create for yourself, then divine law supersede all of that. This is why I'm gonna carry out the canon. The canon. And I bust the canon out there. When you never direct you to any kind of law, it has to be canon law. Simple. Yeah, man. So again, people. As I said, the Register of Certificate is dated the day after the life event, and then the name is added. And what authority add the name? 
faire te fait que t'as fini mais pour qu'elle n'a même ce club. Yeah. And what is the date of this male entity with this all capital name? What is its birthday? Usually we'll, you'll see it on the lower right hand corner. For mine, it's like the 20, 39 days after my life event. And then this instrument have a number that is red. So that is the identifying number. And it has an account attached to it. Which will be your what I'm calling tax registration number, the TRN number. I call it a treasury registration number. Only because you keep a different kind of information. So the taxes go to the legal entity. The taxes go to the straw man. The taxes go to the juridic person. It has nothing to do with me. Absolutely nothing. So when a policeman pull me over. I have to go through all of this. So then we can demonstrate. So because I'm not a part of this. And we can express it this way. Now the fee schedule is initiated. Because it's all about contract. And we keep saying. When we come to back on issue invoice. It's fine for you to ignore. And we we'll go through that process. Step by step. Uh, we are learn as we go along. But we don't necessarily are conform. In a foreign jurisdiction. We now have to do it. Yeah. We cannot be held to absolutely no legal standard when we are not, not a part of their club. We are not bar members. So this is why when we say, hey, lady, laugh at me in a court. Yeah. And, and I like it, make me feel bad. No. Where do it just make me feel sweet for no say what? Them now draw a card for me. What? All right. I'm going to just do my thing and call it a day. Uh, I have completed all of them requirements. So when them are extend bond, something else I go on keep me. You have read, already demonstrated so much. So we do give thanks when we get a chance, an opportunity for, you know, present documents where them can rebut. We have an affidavit of ownership, certificate of title and registered certificate. certificate. Local state registration number, district number, bond number. Equality is paramount and mandatory by law. We trust. All whom these presents shall come. Greetings. I, shall the name Dallas Linton, I think, only a living and original Native American man, Afian hearing registered owner. He duly swore the clear and state that I am of full age and legally competent and have first-hand knowledge of the facts stated herein and believe these facts to be true and correct to the best of my knowledge. I also dispose and say that I am the registered owner, or I should say the registered title holder of record and holder of the certificated security and or bond such and such. This is from what year this? I do this in a dated 17th December. 2019. It's, a, it's just a part of the application itself. Yeah, you ask yourself some questions because you can't ask people out here. Yeah, them not going to an answer. But you will know of it, find the answers to your very own questions. And as such, you discover plethora of things. So this is how, you know, we build and learn self-talk. And again, we are say whatever court rules and processes them of it now apply to I. Let me tell you, when them kidnapped me the very same night, they gave me a notice of recognizance. Yeah, man. You know, I'm not, I'm not 
on top of the same time with Sapphire. Come on. Second on me. Yeah, so from the second on me, when them kidnap me, them give me a recognizance bond. And this recognizance bond, the moment we start, look at it. This is when we you just said validate whatever claim you hear me and me. Just this piece of paper, this little instrument. Notice of recognizance. Because a sign where you have a prisoner and then you have a surety. You understand? And then you gotta say sub officer in charge. You gotta say name and you say date. Sub officer in charge, giving a notice of recognizance where monetary value is at stake, is unauthorized to issue this. This I forgot before, I right? call them resident magistrate. This I forgot before a judge, or it has to manifest. I must be downtown in the court, which is the court of record. So this nullify and make this thing void. However, I place a document on the court where I break down the very notice of recognizance as fraud, as an access device to access my bank trust. Basically, that's what it is by way of my surety. So when I issue my own $100,000 bond, this will come from my own surety. This is coming from the birth registration form entity. But we want my endorsement that need me to sign or write or mark somewhere, giving them permission to go into that money. Remember, you know, I'm the one who's being accused. I have a birth certificate bond on the table, a surety bond on the table. Now, what is this witness putting up? So I have to request the witness bond, which I already did in that instrument before I went to hearing and in that very instrument you hear me ask request a summary judgment I tell them so that's them but a waste time it's all there so when them give me a notice of recognizance I respond to that notice of recognizance and rebut it and it's on their court record and we can you know facilitate the public record anytime And a few months after that, they gave me a witness statement, which is a constable, a senior sergeant of police, and another constable, which I shall excuse, bringing some kind of claim against me, saying they're suing me because I break some laws. So once we reach downtown Supreme Court, because we have to get there, God, I'm going to make it official on the books. Then this witness will get a chance to speak and demonstrate where I have injured him, where I have wronged him. And if he cannot do that, it means they are bringing fraud upon the court where they are perpetuating there is a crime without a victim. Just contemplate these things. So this is the charade that's been taking place in our society, unknown to the average people. A lot of these attorneys clueless to what I'm saying. They are just learning most of this. Some of them know. Some of them just follow the legal process. Paper pushers. And always I make some kind of deal. Fleecing the common man. 
Well, nowhere in the Constitution does it say you need to get some kind of attorney outside of their area. Council, yeah, and council can be from anyone. Just like how nowhere in the Constitution it does say you need to get licenses. Any identification is a passport. And the passport, it can be a Jamaican citizen and a Commonwealth citizen or, like I, you can remove yourself from being a Jamaican citizen and retain that common Commonwealth citizen where you're outside of the jurisdiction of the Jamaica Parliament and the Jamaica government. Still here on the island. These things are law. But the agency, the administrative agency, have their own rules and regulation, guys as law that applies, only applies to the juridic entity, to the all capital name that is identified with your name until you rebut it and say that's not my name. Let's create a separation of entity. Who do you wish to deal with? Who can you talk to? Where is that jurisdiction over this man? Understand? And when a statutory instrument creates your agency, where is your territorial jurisdiction as a foreign administrative agency? With a DUNS number. Exists somewhere in an office space in Washington, D.C. Existing as a debtor. We have evidence of a manifest. The UC see one financing statement for government of Jamaica, which was filed in 2012. So when we talk, we really try to qualify with information. We really make an effort for, you know, even though we might not be as articulate as most are, you know what I mean? Knowledgeable as most. Well, at least I said, you go look. Don't take my word for it. Before you open your mouth to speak, go check. Yeah, and then you're going to get exposed to a brand new world. Then you're going to realize there's no badness out there. And not even the money where everybody are free. You know, it's more righteousness. Yeah, but this journey and of the faith of all. You know what I mean? So, again, step by step out the people. The brave may fall, but never yield. And we said, hold and brave, firm, firm. Salute to the good people, the people that try and make a concerted effort to do good. Salute to the people where I choose for hold them righteousness. And salute to the people who naturally know, say, hey, I am free, born free, live free. Salute. Again, we do give thanks and praise. Complete gratitude to the subscribers. Yeah, step by step out there. Step by step.